Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 8, and we're going up against an alliance called DDS7. Alright, so uh, we are currently tier 2. We lost our last war. Uh, we're still in tier 2, okay? And I am going in with my standard team. I've already checked my paths out. And I'm pretty confident that my standard team will be able to handle uh, the opponents on my path and possibly a mini or two. All right, so my first fight is Human Torch. Now, when Human Torch first came to the contest, I had a lot of problems with him, but that was long ago. So I'm not worried about this fight at all. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. And you're gonna see uh, how I was fighting because I was pretty much fighting lazy. I know a lot of people Don't try to evade when they're in war because if they miss it really really, you know Cost them so I'm like all right. Well Nick Fury is great for human torch um, But I'll just block Okay, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay. Well that didn't you know do too much damage. I'm, I'm okay with that but he hurts even uh you know, hitting in your block. So now I pushed him to a special two. Now I can evade the special two, but I decided to block it. Look at the damage that he did through my block. I said, oh, okay, we won't be doing that ever again. Uh, we got him down, but I lost a lot of health, but it was a lesson learned. Do not block human torches special two. Just evade it or bait out the special one. Now, you see here, I was really upset because I mistimed my entry into uh, Alliance War. What I try to do, just for video editing purposes, is for one path, one um, segment of the video, I would like to have done that fight that you saw me do with Human Torch and this fight all in one piece. Now, it doesn't really matter to you guys because you, you still see it, you know, in succession there. But what it meant for me is that I now had two segments of video that I now had to combine together and, and you know, during the edit. All right, but we're gonna be fighting Medusa. Medusa used to be a really tough uh, champion to fight. She still can be a little tricky. So I'm going in here with Omega Red and uh, I'm like, okay, everything seems to be going just fine. All right, we're getting the spores. She's losing health like crazy. Doing my, um, I did a special one there uh, cause I wanted to test something out. Uh, but if you notice the counters up in the upper left hand corner there, they reset when I did the uh, uh, special. So that's fine, they're, they're working okay. At least in section one, all right? Uh, so look at this, my health is good, and I'm just like, yeah, we got her. Look at this, man. Beautiful, beautiful. And she's down. So my Omega Red put in that work. So happy I got this guy. Uh, my six star rank two probably won't get used until he gets awakened and possibly you know, um, duped a couple of times, who knows? All right, now I asked if they wanted me to take that Mr. Sinister. Uh, the answer obviously was no. Uh, if you notice the guy um, that takes path three, they didn't have any defenders on path three. So he said he'll take Mr. Sinister. Uh, I would have taken him with uh, Warlock. So now I was asked to fight Korg on Mixmaster with the Stubborn Global. Now, historically, I have not done well on this node. Uh, the first time I encountered this node, I got wrecked. Um, I did a little bit better the next time through. So um, getting practice slowly but surely with this fight. Omega Red is a great counter for this fight. Um, it's me that's not such a good counter for this fight, but I'm getting there. You know, it's painful, but I'm getting there. So. Korg is, you know, at half health, and I'm like, all right, my plan is to try and do medium light attacks, okay? Um, don't try to, you know, parry him. 
just, you know, take the blocks. He doesn't do a lot of damage through his block and just keep doing medium light. Now, right there, I lost track of, you know, what was my last attack and that's why he evaded. Okay, you see, that's why I'm stopping medium light. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do medium light, that's it. All right, evade that. He's uh, indestructible. We take some blocked hits to get rid of the indestructible. Now his shield is shattered. Now we can parry him just fine. You know, get some heavies in there. You know, get uh, the death field back active with the uh, special two. All right, and his shield is back. Okay, and basically we're just trying to slow play this. All right, um, like I said, Omega Red is great, but you have to remember, and see, I knew he was gonna do that. That's why I was ready. When I swiped, I knew he was gonna immediately try to counter it with his special. Uh, so I was ready there, all right? But we're getting him down slowly. You see his shield is shattered again, and I'm not getting too greedy. Just going in, trying to slow play it, medium, light, and we got him down. Now, if we play like that, we should be able to take that fight even if he has full health. Should be able to solo it if I stick to that plan and I don't forget halfway through and try to, you know, um, attack him more aggressively. All right, so um, I got the Korg down and now we've got Dr. Doom. Not gonna fight Dr. Doom. And the reason that I didn't wanna fight this Dr. Doom, um, for one, that EMP modification there tends to mess me up, okay? It just messes me up. All right, so I was looking at it because I was thinking about it because I could take Dr. Doom with Omega Red most of the time. Um, I could take Dr. Doom with my Nick Fury most of the time, but I said no. Uh, so they went ahead and took Dr. Doom. And uh, the other reason I didn't want to do that is my Omega Red, I was worried about this fight with Elsa because I just knew, I knew he was... Um, you know, running with suicides. You know, if I placed Elsa, it, it'd be because I was running my suicides. Uh, she's one of the few champions that's actually better. She's a better defender with suicides, specifically double edge, because she has a bleed. While she's bleeding, she's going to be putting that uh, degen on you, unless you're a mutant. So I'm definitely not going to fight her with anybody else except Omega Red. So if I went up against that Doom and lost my Omega Red, I could have been in some trouble. All right. And we hadn't been keeping track of um, the different opponents. We used to do that. Uh, so we didn't know whether this person was running suicides or not. So I'm going in here pretty much blind. All right, and I'm looking up here, I'm looking up here, and nope, he wasn't running suicides. So I could have taken her with anyone. All right, so now I'm feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm more relaxed now. I'm like, okay, I know how to fight Elsa. You know, I can bait out that special. All right, I fired off the uh, special one uh, to reset the counter because I was watching for the counter because I think it was bugged at one time, uh, but we're just pushing her, and then now we just need to bait out, and then that happened. I'm like, seriously? What is going on? Was she like super aggressive? I, I don't know, and then that happened. And I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. All right, so I fire off my special one. We got a reset, so it's working. And I'm just like, I don't believe I might lose this fight. And then I'm just like, no, uh-uh, we're not doing that. We're not doing this today. And down she goes. See, I did that intercept. I got I got upset. You know, I should not have lost all that health. No way. Not against that Elsa. But it is what it is. Um, that one, uh, I don't know what it was, got me thrown off. And then I just got almost wrecked completely. All right. So now fighting with Hyperion. Uh, I don't like fighting Hyperion because he tends to sometimes, if you get the wrong profile, just fire a special three and that's it. So the game plan here, because I do have a little buffer, uh, the real Nick Fury is not out yet. So I'm going to play it, you know, like I normally would. 
Uh, just trying to bait out, and he looks like he's throwing his specials. Thank you, thank you. All right, and now we've got a special two we need to bait out of him. And you don't want to parry like that because that's going to make it more likely that he's going to go to a special three. All right, so don't mean to parry like that, but that's also the reason I don't like stunning reflex because when I'm dashing back, you dash back a little bit too late, you'll get a parry instead. Okay, so now I'm pretty confident because he's at half health. So even if he fires his special three, I'll survive. He'll be dead before he can get another special three. All right. And uh, we've got two counters at zero. So we basically are not going to be getting uh, our power. Okay. But that's fine because Nick Fury doesn't really need to fire his specials. And since I'm running suicides, I don't really want to fire specials. And then he did this. And I'm just like, no, 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 back up, back up. No, no, we're not doing this. Okay, and I was like, okay, I'm just, I have to go for it. Boom. And we got him. He didn't even get a chance to fire that special three. And it was close. If I did not get him down on that last one. But yeah, he just he just caught me sleeping. Uh, and, and just started wailing on me. All right, so now I'm like, all right, this one is not cleared, but I can use my energy at least. Uh, because I'm going to go, you know, I got some other things I need to do. All right. And we're under two hours left. All right. So, um, I believe I was, I was in the arena. I was late getting my three stars on cooldown, uh, um, finishing off the three star arena that is. And I also needed to run, uh, incursions and we had the same amount of time left for both. They were both going to end at the same time, so I needed to go run and do that. All right, so now you see the mini situation here. And you saw that. It was weird because I'd already clicked on it. And I was asked to take Thing down on Stunning Reflect. Now, I don't know if you saw uh, one of my past videos where I tried this. The only one that I have that's a decent counter here is Nick Fury. Because... Uh, Nick Fury is a stubborn attacker. He has the defensive uh, tag. Um, Thing is also a stubborn defender. So Nick Fury is a great counter for Thing when you're dealing with stubborn. Okay. Um, he's a great counter for Thing even when you're not dealing with stubborn. But what makes Nick Fury um, good for this is with Stunning Reflect, if you get stunned, you're probably dead. And if you try to parry them, that stun gets reflected to you. But when the real Nick Fury is out, he does not get stunned. So you can see here, I'm like right down to the wire. I'm at 133 health because the real Nick Fury is still not out. But in this case, I want the real Nick Fury to come out. Okay, so... In the beginning, I'm going to block a little bit, um, take some damage, okay? Didn't want to do anything crazy, so the real Nick Fury is now out, okay? And now we're just going to uh, play Thing the way we know to play him, okay? Um, now, on this node, it's a little bit tricky uh, to deal with Thing um, unless you have a stubborn uh, attacker. So you see all those indestructibles? Those would normally cause problems, but because Nick Fury is also defensive, he gets the benefit of an attack tactic. And that attack tactic, if you look up uh, on Thing, he has these destructibles, the red icon. He has three of them right now. Every time Nick Fury parries, he gets one more of those, and they prevent the indestructible. So you see the indestructible going, but he's not actually getting the indestructible. It just takes down one of the destructible uh, charges. So we're doing okay. We don't have that much health left, okay? And we're not gonna get any power, but it's fine. Nick Fury does a lot of damage, all right? And we do have to manage the rock charges, but we aren't having too much of a problem. Hitting into his block to get myself a little bit of space uh, I don't want him to trap me in that corner because I do not know how to evade his uh, specials and his heavies. All right. And so I'm almost at 14 here. I mean, at 15. And so I'm in trouble. 
So I'm pushing him, pushing him, pushing him back because I don't want to get in that corner. All right, pushing him back, pushing him back. Now we've got a special one. We can bait it out and it'll get rid of all of those charges. All right, boom. All right, so now um, we're just we're just slow playing it. I already see that I have 3% health, so I know I'm not gonna get it this time. All right, and the reason that I'm not gonna get it uh, is because I can't take another block and I only have one destructible charge left. All right, so now he's indestructible. Nothing I can do because I can't damage him now. All right, we got we got a little bit of a, a, a break right there. All right, but we just didn't have enough health. Just didn't have enough health. We actually got a break. We survived one parry and it was able to evade in the corner. I was actually surprised myself that I did that. And so I was able to get out a little bit of uh, damage, but you know, that, that was it. Too much block damage. Um, I had too little health. All right, so they got that mini down. You saw someone else jumped in there and we got all the minis down. Now we're on the boss. Do you see how much health is uh, taken away from that boss? We had a couple of, uh, I think one try. And so I said, all right, I'll try this. Let's see what's uh, so difficult about this guy. Yeah, he's not fun. All right, so first of all, he's defensive. So he's got the indestructible going. He's very aggressive and he's got power gain. Okay, so I'm just like, oh, righty then. Let me try to, you know, and then I ran into that because I forgot that uh, you can't do that. You, you can't do that. And so now I'm just like, wow, because I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him and, and, and power drain him or do something. No, didn't work. And right when I tried to hit him there, that's when, of course, he fired his special three. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just dead. There's, there's nothing else for it. I'm dead. Boom. But I survived. And I'm like, okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Look at this. I'm going. Nothing. Not much I could have done because he was unblockable. And if he had started getting me in that corner like that, forget about it. All right. So that was it. I was I was done. I, I said, you guys, you got this. And uh, um, we we did eventually get the boss down. But you'll see that a little bit later. All right. So this is work in progress. He sent me a fight. He's going up against you saw the uh, buffs uh, for the node. And he's going up against Man-Thing with a Red Hulk. Red Hulk is actually a really good option. Uh, Red Hulk is not poison immune, but he does something better. He actually converts the poisons into uh, his charges. So he's doing a lot more damage. And I want you to notice how Work in Progress is handling the uh, Stubborn Node, okay? Um, right now he's not worried about it. Thankfully they can't stack, um, the indestructible charges. Uh, but to avoid it, he sometimes evades a little bit early. Okay. But he's pretty much slow playing it. He didn't try to evade that. That's a very difficult thing to evade. And as you can see from his health, he's not taking, you know, a lot of damage. And there he is. He's back to full health. Yeah. Red Hulk beast mode okay and uh i believe is that i don't know for sure um if that's a six star rank three it might be i, I didn't uh check um but he's, he's actually um either two or three uh, i want to say three um work in progress has a, a pretty beefy uh roster um but as you can see here he's just trying to bait that out now, I like to bait out the uh, special uh, two, but I'm pretty sure he has a reason for doing that, probably to get uh, that on him so he can heal up from willpower uh, is what it's looking like. All right, and down he goes. All right, so in a moment, we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. All right, we've got five seconds to find out how we did in this war. All right, and here we go. War ended. And let's see what we did. 
Pretty sure we lost it, by the way. But, all right, history. Yep, uh, defeat. And as you can see, it was a pretty good defeat. Uh, we were not close. This was not a close war. Uh, but in any case, uh, that is going to do it, guys. We did get all three of our bosses down, which was uh, our goal. And we're still getting, you know, decent points. So we shouldn't fall too far too fast. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.